Hello there, my name is Ben Doyle and it's my great privilege to be the head teacher of St Peter's School. Normally you would all be gathered in our fantastic theatre uh, waiting to hear the presentation from myself and a number of other students and members of staff about our wonderful school. But this isn't a normal year and I'm really upset that you can't be here tonight because I feel the open evening is really, really important part of the decision making process. Because you can look up the school, you can find out information about the school, you can gather information but what you can't do is get a feel for the place. And I think it's really important that you do understand what we are about here at St Peter's. So the challenge for us, is, for us is for us to convey to you the ethos of the school without you actually being present in the building. So along with my presentation this evening, we've got a number of other presentations for you to watch. We've got a video from our head prefects. We've got a drone video of the site and all our wonderful facilities. We've got a video from two year seven going through a day in their life. Our special educational needs coordinator has also provided the video as well. There's information on admissions and there's curriculum information as well. And if after all of this you still have more questions for us, there's going to be an opportunity for you to book a slot with us to have a chat with a member of the leadership team about St Peter's. So there's a link for that on the website as well. So how do I convey to you what we are about as a school? Well, I think the easiest way to do this is to look at our mission statement. Our mission statement explains exactly who we are, and it goes as follows. With Christ as our guide, learning together, loving God and each other, becoming the best we can be. And I would like to take each of those lines um, separately as I take you through the presentation. So with Christ as our guide, first of all, we are a Catholic school. We are part of the Diocese of Portsmouth and part of the De La Salle Order. We educate boys and girls aged 11 to 18 on our secondary site of all abilities. But what does that mean to be a Catholic school? Well, there's a beautiful quote from Pope Francis I'd like to read to you now. Education cannot be neutral. It is either positive or negative. Either it enriches or it impoverishes. Either it enables a person to grow or it lessens, even corrupts them. The mission of schools is to develop a sense of truth of what is good and beautiful. So hopefully from this quote, you understand that education for us is far more about just the lessons in the classroom. I also mentioned we're part of the De La Salle Order, and I'd like to talk a little bit about St. John Baptist de La Salle, who was the founder. He was born in 1651 in the Champagne region of France. Uh, his mother's maiden name was actually Moe, and you can still see her name on the champagne bottles today. And he was destined for a life of great richness. Uh, he had a great pathway planned out before him. But when he was a young man, he had a conversionary experience, and he realised that he wanted to reach out to help the young people of Reims, his hometown in France, who didn't have many prospects for life. So he decided to get the young people together and he got some teachers together and he began to teach them to help improve their opportunities. And there's one quote in particular from him which has stood with us throughout all the ages. To touch the hearts of your students is the greatest miracle you can perform. So you see for us at St Peter's it's just as much about touching the hearts as it is in inspiring the minds. So we're about hearts and we're about minds. The next line of our mission statement is learning together. So it's no surprise that we put a great emphasis on our lessons. We want our students to enjoy the lessons. We want them to be active in their lessons. Teaching is something that is done with our young people rather than something that is done to them. And we're constantly looking for ways to make our lessons more and more interesting, more and more exciting, and getting more and more students engaged and excited about their learning. And the reason we do this is very straightforward. There's, a, again, a great quote from Benjamin Franklin, who said, tell me, I forget, teach me, and I may remember. Involve me and I learn. So our students need to be involved in their learning if they are actually to learn and to make great progress, which is what we all want. And again, another quote from Aristotle here, 300 BC. Educating the mind without educating the heart is no education at all. So hopefully you can see that we're all about so much more, as I said, than just teaching the students in class. There's so much more we have to do. And your children will have many opportunities with us at St Peter's. For example, there's a young enterprise scheme that they can get involved in. Every year we have a great bunch of year sevens and year eights who do all sorts of wonderful things with our careers advisor, Mr Downs. There's the tech crew, for example. So some students really like getting involved backstage and helping out with our many productions. Some of our students have learning outside of the classroom quite regularly. We often get experts in from outside to help inspire and infuse our students. And sometimes our students even become the teachers. There's a picture on the slide I'm showing you now, 
where the students there are teaching some children from our primary schools. So there are so many more opportunities both inside the classroom and outside the classroom. And I really do need to say something about our wonderful productions we have every year. Our creative and expressive arts departments put on fantastic shows each year. Last year it was Sweeney Todd and again there's some wonderful pictures for you to see the quality of what it is and how much our students enjoy this. We also put lots of time into our teachers because ultimately the teachers are the ones who will have the most influence on your children's learning at school. If we get the teaching right, the learning will follow. So we spend an awful lot of time looking at all the various different research at the moment. There's so many different areas we're interested in getting involved in because we need to make the students' learning as best as it possibly can be. And the reason for this is very straightforward. With the best teaching, a student will learn in six months what it takes an average teacher to teach in a whole year. And with poor teaching, the same learning will take over two years. So what that means is if we get the teaching right, the students can make a fantastic progress throughout their time with us at St Peter's. So the next line of our mission statement is loving God and each other. And there are two events in particular which really stand out for me. The first is our whole school mass. So every year in the summer term, our entire student body and staff community gather together on the playground and we celebrate mass on the feast day of St Peter and St Paul. The other event is the Be More Clare Day. And this is the day where we remember a teacher of ours who sadly passed away a few years ago. And we use this day to raise awareness about the many charities we support and also to remember our wonderful member of staff who sadly passed away. On this day, the whole school do a sponsored walk from the school to Hengisbury Head. We have people of all faiths and all backgrounds at St Peter's. And one thing that everybody can understand to do with our ethos is the golden rule. And it goes as this, it's from Matthew's Gospel. So in everything, do to others what you have them do to you. And that really does underline what we mean by loving God and each other. The final line of our mission statement is becoming the best we can be. And I really see this embodied in our students on my two favourite days of the year. Those are the days the students collect their GCSE results and the day they collect their A-level results as well. On that day, I see the smiling faces of our students and their families as all the hard work they've put in over the past few years pays off. It's a wonderful time to see they're rewarded for all the work they've done. It's also a great reward for our teachers as well, who can see their efforts paying off at the same time. A-level results and GCSE results are very, very important. So we're delighted that our results are very, very good and very, very strong year after year. If your child comes to us and they work well and they work with us, they will undoubtedly perform well in their examinations. But there is more to life than examination results as well. One of the favourite things I do is have a head teacher's breakfast every term with the top performing students in each year group. Now, it may be they've had the best attitude, it may be they've had a wonderful improvement in their, in their attainment, it could be any number of different things. And at that day, the students I see who are truly becoming the best they can be are those who take advantage of all the opportunities available to them. You see, working hard in lessons is not enough. It's those who work hard in lessons, but also take advantage of these opportunities that have that confidence inside of them that gives them that courage to go on to become the best they can be. So really, that's it for us as a school. I've only been able to give you a short flavour of what we're all about, but I'd just like to finish one more time by saying our mission statement. With Christ as our guide, learning together, loving God and each other, becoming the best we can be. Please do enjoy the rest of the videos available this evening, and if you would like, get in touch to arrange an appointment with a member of our leadership team. Thank you very much, and goodbye.